13c, we give the full paradigm for the cal perfect of the strong verb katal, kof, tet, lamed. Let's examine the layout of this graphic. This is handout 13c. The full perfect paradigm appears in the middle of the page with the verbal suformatives given in red. To the left of the paradigm, we have isolated just the suformatives or inflectional endings. Person, gender, and number of each form is identified on the far left. On the far right, we have translated each form. Before we pronounce and study the forms of this Cal perfect strong verb paradigm, we must make two very important observations. First, this paradigm must be mastered and memorized with a view to both writing and oral recitation. Every point of spelling must be mastered for accurate writing and pronunciation. This is your primary task for chapter 13. And secondly, this is a paradigm. This paradigm preserves the spelling for most Cal-perfect triconsonantal strong verbs in the Hebrew language. Memorize this paradigm for katal, and you have memorized the spelling for almost every other Cal-perfect strong verb. Only the consonants will change with other verbs. Looking at handout 13C, this is section 13.5 in the grammar, listen carefully to the pronunciation of each form of the paradigm. We begin with the Cal perfect third masculine singular form. Katal. The third feminine singular form, katala. Second masculine singular, katalta. Second feminine singular, katalt. First common singular, katalti. Third common plural, katalu. Second masculine plural, kataltem. Second feminine plural, katal ten. First common plural, katal nu. Let's make a few observations on the paradigm. First, the paradigm moves from third person to second person to first person. Singular forms first then to the plural forms. Secondly, the Cal perfect third masculine singular form katal is also the lexical form. That is, this spelling is how triconsonantal verbs are listed in a standard lexicon. Our third observation. Most verbs are triconsonantal, though some are biconsonantal. You know that biconsonantal verbs are considered to be weak. They will be studied in chapter 14. Our fourth observation. With regard to gender, three forms of the perfect conjugation are listed as common, meaning not inflected for gender. The common forms are first person singular, katalti, first plural, katalnu, and third person plural, katalu. As common forms, these verbs may be used with either masculine or feminine subjects. 
our fifth observation. Note the presence of the metheg in the third feminine singular, katala, and third common plural, katalu, forms. The metheg serves to identify the vowel as comets and not as comets hatuf. Observation number six. Note the vocal shawa under the first consonant of the verbal root in the second masculine plural and second feminine plural forms. Kutal tem. Kutal ten. Note the shawa beneath the kof in both of these forms. Observation number seven. Be careful to note the placement of accent in each form and be careful to preserve the placement of accent in pronunciation. Observation number eight. Be certain that you master the spelling of each suformative or inflectional ending. One more time. I'd like to pronounce the entire paradigm. We begin with third masculine singular. Katal, third feminine singular. Katla, second masculine singular. Katalta, second feminine singular. Katalt, first common singular. Katalti, third common plural. Katalu, second masculine plural. Kutal tem, second feminine plural. Kutal ten, and the first common plural form is pronounced katalnu. In handout 13D, this is section 13.7 in the grammar. We have given the full paradigms for five other Cal Perfect Strong verbs. You must practice your mastery of the Cal Perfect Strong verb paradigm with verbs other than just katal. Handout 13D will provide the opportunity to practice with other strong verbs. Follow along as I pronounce the forms of